I'm so glad I get a chance to talk to people um, when, I, when I do these videos because it gives me an opportunity to see how uh, progressive my statements are and how I address information. And then I'm also able to make corrections and even clarify a few things also, which is really great. So I've had like maybe a dozen friends and, and people, uh, I guess I've created the presumption and I apologize, created the presumption that I'm starting to feel this energy for the first time and that's actually not the case. What I want to clarify is that there is a such thing, and this is a term that I created because I didn't know a word for it, uh, program allowance. I'm gonna talk about that here for a brief moment and this should be a quick video, but program allowance is a, like an illusion of choice. Uh, stuff that they allow you to do, stuff, uh, 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 an area that they don't want you to go past and it's all plausible stuff, you feel good about it. It's all essential stuff and it's stuff that comes to a cap. Kind of like a mason, they go illuminate it and they get capped, they get mind control so they don't go so far past the program allowance. See what I mean? So, let me clarify something. This is this up here. All right? This is not this. This leads to this. But this is where they want you to stop. They don't want you to go past this point. They don't want you to sun gaze more than 30 minutes. That is the narrative that is floating around on YouTube right now. All right, so they don't want you to go past your program allowance line because once you start doing that, you're gonna have a series of stigmas that are gonna come out, booby traps. They're gonna say, man, you went past this line, man, now I got a strain in my eye. Now I gotta wear sunglasses. Man, now I got this going on. Now I got bumps on my hands, what's that? Now I got this, what is this? And uh, those host of plethora of stigmas are in the, in the mental, side of the program allowance program so you have stigmas that say oh i can't do this oh there's stds everywhere i can't indulge in casual encounters you know i just can't do that you know anything that makes your mojo go back down and say something that is a, a moderate program allowed level of uh of euphoria and ascension of this uh this sexual frame that we have that is a, a spiritual ascending pleasure conduit if you will from the toes to the nipples to the gooch to the the sexual organs to the nipples to the ears to the lips to every side the whole body is like a damn sexual bomb vessel anyways under the program allowance now above the program allowance you're going to see things that are essential like healthy eating uh, a good vegan diet weight lifting yoga exercise uh you know restrictions to certain meals like cheeseburgers or smoking or any of that stuff they tell you that stuff and we watch that stuff every day and we think man we've got it made we've got a good beat on life but what we don't know is what is not stopping the the child trafficking and uh these reptilian things and all this bullshit that's going on that's underground literally that's under the surface that we don't know about is what they don't want us to stop if you do this they think oh this is another survivor they're gonna get on a boat and get out of here when 5g hits no problem but what if you said you know what enough child trafficking and then you did this so that's the problem is that they don't want you to stop them and uh that is the deception the normal life and the normalities of everything being cool is what keeps everybody from freaking out and getting mad so now I'll explain this. I started out here and then everything starts to, to change. Like I start to become uh, more pressured in the head until things start to uh, expand and then to, to, uh, to rupture and then to crack and then eventually to explode open. What is happening when I'm doing this? This is what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to bring the black sun and the light sun into your signal. They don't want your signal to go that high. So you stay within the S wave. You stay within the shit that they've done down below near the, the surface of the earth and your signal needs to just essentially get high enough so you can hit this signal, which is the eight wave signal that's right above all this bullshit that we're living in. So what they showed us, the black sun and light sun come together and make a crash, right? In Cool World. They showed us on Semi Pro to get the hat, to get these, uh, to get the band and to make this stuff start to rupture here, which is forming into an explosion. You gotta bring 
your signal high enough, he's standing higher than Andre 3000 and Woody Harrelson. So he shows you the tropics to become semi-pro, you gotta get your signal high enough to where you can meet the light sun and the black sun where they create the, the, uh, the astral uh, jet. So you gotta become powerful enough to reach that signal. And that's what I'm teaching you and that's what I'm showing you. And that's what we gotta do. So by the time I finish getting in this stage, I should be so dizzy that I, I'll be on the verge of blowing the top more but that is not the super beam that's that is the uh you know like uh that's like a that would be like the gesture or the joker to the king the king blows the top explodes it to where it's all, all out and it, it doesn't stay within the sack so yeah that is uh crackles hat if you look at snap crackle pop his hat is like a sack that's hanging over so you want to break open that sack you want it's gonna expand and go up and down like you're gonna be like ooh, 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 my fucking gun. and if you started here and went here probably who knows what will happen to you, you probably have a brain hemorrhage or something aneurysm but anyways that is it that is the understanding and explanation for program allowance please watch more of my stuff because i am going to go further down this rabbit hole the place that they do not want you to go i am going there man no holes barred so i'm telling you brother i'm telling you it is on like donkey kong keep on watching the channel like share subscribe tell your friends about what's going on and how they're deceiving us it's basically giving us a whole lot of what we want without telling us the rest and if you taste something that tastes sweet then you don't know if there's something sweeter than that out there. You just say, hey, this is sweet. It's pretty good. All right, well, that's life. Life is full of surprises, and life is like a box of chocolates. Don't be afraid to open up and take a bite of all of them. Until then, this is Grim Nasty. Stay tuned and stay awake.